Welcome to English Reading for Learning. Down a Wombat Hole. For fun, American scientist Dr. Faith Walker crawls into wombat holes. Although she would love to meet a wombat, she knows their tunnels are not good meeting places. Wombats look like teddy bears, but are built like 50-pound bulldozers. They run away when they see a human. Dr. Walker could get crushed if a wombat tried to rush past her in a tunnel. Dr. Walker is studying southern hairy-nosed wombats, which live in remote areas of South Australia. She camps near the wombat tunnels and stays several months. Insects and heat make camp life uncomfortable. Dr. Walker wears a net over her head so bugs will not bite her. The dusty holes smell musky, but she cools down by crawling inside. It feels like air conditioning, she says. Not much is known about wombats, so Dr. Walker is trying to learn more. Trapping wombats is very stressful for them, Dr. Walker says. Instead of handling them, she studies their hairs. To do this, Dr. Walker stretches sticky tape across a tunnel entrance. The tape catches a few hairs when a wombat brushes it. She then collects the hair samples to study them. In a laboratory, she studies the tiny details of the hair. Using these details, she can tell which wombat the hair came from. So each hair is like a wombat name tag. The hairs tell Dr. Walker how many wombats live in each tunnel and whether they are related to one another. The sticky tape also tells Dr. Walker if a wombat is home. Before she goes into a tunnel, Dr. Walker checks the tape. If there is hair on it, she knows the wombats are inside. Then she stays out. When the wombats are gone, Dr. Walker crawls into their holes. The tunnels are too narrow for her to go far. I've gotten as far as 20 feet, Dr. Walker says. One time, a wombat charged up a tunnel toward Dr. Walker. The entrance tape had not caught any hair, so she did not know the wombat was still inside. At first, he probably thought I was another wombat, Dr. Walker says. As the wombat got closer, he saw that she was human and he ran away. Crawl into the tunnels for fun, says Dr. Walker. But sometimes, she discovers new information while she's down there. One time, Dr. Walker heard a strange noise in the tunnel. She had thought it was empty, but it wasn't. Suddenly, she recognized the sound, snoring. Sleeping wombats snore, just like people. There are many questions Dr. Walker wants to answer. How do wombat families work? How well do they get along? After sleeping all day, where do wombats go at night? Long drives, hard camp life, hot weather, and bothersome bugs are all worth it to Dr. Walker. Field research is much more than a chance to explore wombat tunnels. It's also the best way to learn about wombats. Thanks for watching and listening. Please click like and subscribe for new and latest uploads.